Strap in for a nitrous injection. Normally aspirated, Monster Motors with a spritz of funny fumes are the order of the day at the Gnarly Nitrous Shootout. Massive cubic inches and bottle-fed rocket sleds make up a class of killer clod slingers. Welcome back to the Fast Track in Sanford, North Carolina, the Lee County Mud Motor Sports Complex, where we are about to till the topsoil again under beautiful weather with the gnarly nitrous shootout, a wide array of machines running a diverse selection of horsepower. No blowers in this class. The atmosphere around the injectors is fed by the bottle. And if you get the combination right in your rocket sled, you can be top dog in the class as fans from all walks of life are ready for the power to be unleashed. And our first competitor up on the fast track in the gnarly night for shootout will be Katie King out of Summer Duck, Virginia, second generation driver. The 625 cubic inch Chevy on nitrous, ready to go. Started to pull off to the right a little bit after the starting line, but a 2.594 is a strong opening statement in the class. A little bit of grooming right now. Put the track back into shape for the next driver to try to go for the record. Katie King in pure aggravation. Again, you can see her pull off to the left and make a quick correction. It probably hurt her time just a little bit, but she'll have a second shot at it. Here in the Gnarly Nitrous Shootout, up next, a guy who could definitely get down this track in record time, the magician Keith Mitchell out of Fredonia, Pennsylvania. 960 cubic inch Sunny's power plant with electronic fuel injection, a four-stage nitrous system capable of well over 3,000 horsepower. Of course, those in uh, the horsepower game know the name Sunny's. See what Mitchell can do here today. What a ride for Keith Mitchell, absolutely blistering the track at a 1.884 second run. That was faster than a lot of our blower cars here yesterday, and he ran in that class as well. So the power getting to the paddles here this afternoon. We have the blower class yet to go. That'll be on another edition of our coverage from here in Sanford. And I believe if he were in that class, he'd be a threat for the win. But Keith Mitchell laying down a quick one here in Sanford, North Carolina. Up next, another legend in the sport, Charlie Brown out of Mechanicsville, Virginia in the Mudaholic. This guy has been around well since the NMRO days. In fact, he took one of the wildest rides ever down in Bayou George, Florida. Not gonna have a good day today though, clearly having problems as he comes off the line. Not the run he was looking for at a 3.164. So that will open the class. We have plenty more action here to go with the Gnarly Nitrous shootout. As we get another track room out of the way, more Gnarly Nitrous just ahead. Stay with us. This Back Channel Productions program is brought to you in part by Monsters Monthly. For up-to-date info, media, and all your other Monster Truck needs, visit MonstersMonthly.com. And by RPM Army. For a wide array of content from across the motorsports world, visit RPMArmy.com. Your high-performance fix on the go. For the first time ever, the all-new Monster Truck Invasion is coming to Hagerstown Speedway for three huge shows. Don't miss World Champions Avenger and Overkill Evolution along with Higher Education, Taurus, Storm Damage, Axe Fire Truck, Hagerstown Zone, Black Stallion, and more. Ten trucks and kids' tickets are just 20 bucks in advance. All since five dollars my damn show. The King of Monster Trucks returns to Hagerstown Speedway. Dennis Anderson and King Sling for a 
special appearance on his fan appreciation tour. Dennis will make a special race pass just for the fans of Hagerstown and Kingsland. Ten trucks and kids tickets are just 20 bucks in advance. All oh, since five pounds, my damn show. Get your tickets at HagerstownSpeedway.com. The most trucks ever to invade Hagerstown for one weekend only. July 22nd through 24th. Come meet the King, Dennis Anderson, and see King Sling for the first time ever. Listen up. It doesn't matter if you just watch your first show or you're a longtime fan of the sport and you want to know more about monster trucks, well, tune into the Throttle Out Show on Monday and Thursday nights live on our YouTube channel at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You'll get the inside scoop and all the behind-the-scenes footage and monster trucks and soon-to-be all other motorsports. Life is better when your foot is to the floor. So remember, when in doubt, throttle out. This Back Channel Productions program is brought to you in part by Crush This. For a look inside the world of monster trucks, check out Crush This, a monster truck podcast. Fans enjoying the beautiful weather and the action from all angles up on top of the scaffolding under the tents and of course filling out the grandstands. A great crowd on hand here today to watch the gnarly nitrous shootout. Daryl Jones Memorial, fastest of the fast. Up next, Richard Donovan out of Halifax, Virginia in the all-AMC-powered CJ7, a 454 cubic inch AMC engine. A little bit to the left off the starting line, but it came back around for him as he takes a right-hand turn dirt track and right back into the pit area, a 2.358. So not going to better the number one time that Keith Mitchell laid down in a 1.88 plus second run. Once again, a little bit off to the left, but he countered it very quickly, got the front end back down. I think that's what hurt his time, but uh, much better run than we first saw out of this vehicle in Pennsylvania last year as they completely redid the rear end of that machine. And he couldn't have run the paddle tires last year because of the rear fenders. They don't have to worry about that anymore either. Up next. A legendary name in this sport, Chris Galloway, second generation driver out of Gold Hill, North Carolina in the Galloway's 4x4 Valvoline sponsored narrowed S10 called Night Shift. See if the altered wheelbase pickup can get the job done here. Looked like he was buffeting a little bit as he came through the uh, timing lights. We'll watch it again on the slow-mo and you'll see some bounce in the rear end at 2.612. Probably looking for a better time than that. Again, not going to get over that uh, sub two second pass that Keith Mitchell put down, but definitely ran all the way out the end of the track here and you can see the bounce in the rear end. They're going to take it back and see if they can get it uh, primed and tuned for session two. Up next, Jason Sosi with 427 cubic inch, 700 horsepower engine on 300 shot of nitrous. Ready to go here in the side chain. Not gonna get the job done with that one. A straight shot for the driver out of Paris, Maine. Though the car is working, but he's not getting the speed. He's gonna need to get to the top of the field as the crowd looks on our final Competitor here in session one, Todd Franklin, uh, Sunbury, Ohio. Another team that's been in this business for a long time. This is the Roadster called Bill Billies on Alcohol. Mud Missile Chassis going for a ride right there. Let's see what the time is. 2.463, excuse me. Trying to get the job done here. We'll get another look at the run that Franklin laid down with that 632 big block Chevy. 27 Ford Roadster getting down the track in a hurry, but he's still not gonna be in the number one spot by a long shot. It's Richard Donovan hanging out in number two. They're all still chasing Keith Mitchell at that 1884. That's gonna be a time nearly impossible to beat with the kind of horsepower that Mitchell is laying into this track, but they're gonna still be going after him. 
Todd Franklin hanging out there in the number three spot, followed by Katie King and Chris Galloway. Everybody kind of in a tuning battle right now, trying to find a way to get more horsepower into this track, and it's going to continue to dry out, and that means we're going to see you guys starting to blow the tires off as we get another groom put on it. We're going to take a quick break, and we will be back with more from the Gnarly Nitro Shootout Session 2 on the way next from Sanford. Hey, welcome to Wild Man Adventures. We're at the Silver Lake Sand Dragway. There really wasn't any off-roading back then. It was all off-road. We're on our way to Lima, Ohio. Got wooden wheels. Oh, it's slippery. It's all good on it. Hey, we're here with Rich Cummins. Hey, we're here with Mike Potter. Hey, we're here with Alan Pizzo. We gotta check it out. This week, we're gonna go down memory lane. Sanford, North Carolina, as action continues under the sun here at the Lee County Mud Motorsports Complex. Our first competitor up in session two will be none other than the Pure Aggravation Rear Engine Rail, driven by Katie King, owned by John King out of Summer Duck, Virginia. 625 cubic inch Chevy. Nice straight pass down the track. Let's see where King ends up after that run. Well, the clock moved before we could get a look at it. We'll see what the time ended up being right now as Keith Mitchell rolls out onto the track. Mitchell out of Fredonia, Pennsylvania, the only guy in this class right now down in the sub two second category leading the charge at a 1.884 second run. Katie King's run was a 2.561, so she bettered her session one time. Mitchell carrying the front end right there, an awesome pass. Did he better his own time? No, he didn't, a 1.959, and still that would have been the top time. And had he not laid down his first pass, Mitchell is flying here this afternoon. They've done a lot of work over the years to get this car where it is right now. Let him carry the front end. He moved to the right side of the track. I think that that hurt the time because he went a greater distance than he did in his first pass. Now the AMC powered CJ7 Richard Donovan out of Halifax, Virginia. See if he can better his session one time. Much straighter ride. He picked the front end up though on the starting. It looked like he blew the tires off and he will not enter his session one time. That was a 2.3580, he moves to a 237. So uh, he will maintain second place, however, with that 2358 right now as they are all going after that sub two second run of Keith Mitchell and it's gonna be tough. Now Chris Galloway back on the starting line in night shift. As he rolls into the beam to light the tree and set off the green. Oh, 
Still bouncing an awful lot, but it looked like the rear end was hooking up a lot more in that ride. As he, again, right around the corner, these guys are not afraid to get in there at 2.459, so he betters his session one time by quite a bit. He ran a 2.612 in session one. Again, though, the truck kind of rocking and rolling its way down through the timing lights. KCD tuned truck looking good here in Sanford. However, up next, Jason Sosi and the side chick out of Paris, Maine. Still not getting what he wants out of that thing is he's got the nitrous mounted on the roof. I don't think I've ever seen a configuration like that. A 3.478 second run, so he actually slowed down. I have to wonder if the heat is uh, arming the nitrous at all. As you'll see these guys throughout the uh, tuning time before they go racing, they'll actually place towels over top of the nitrous tanks and just that little bit of shade will cool them off enough to help now as the hillbillies on alcohol 27 ford roadster out of ohio making the final pass for the day looking good but not gonna top keith mitchell's run a 2401 for todd franklin out of sunbury ohio and that will speed him up just a little bit but again not enough to get him into the number one spot keith mitchell maintaining that first position at a 1.884 second run from his session one pass and he's followed by Richard Donovan whose uh, first pass also keeps him in second place Todd Franklin speeding up just a bit to maintain that number three spot Chris Galloway bumping himself up to number four on the board knocking Katie King down into the number five spot even though she sped up here in session two, our congratulations to Keith Mitchell for a victory here at the Gnarly Nitrous Shootout. And don't forget, he ran with the blower cars yesterday, and we will have them coming up from here in Sanford, North Carolina. In the very near future, we'll be bringing you that action. We will see you then. Thanks for joining us.